Alrighty, dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back. We're going to continue where we left off. Um, just a bit of a quick, brief breakdown. We're going to attempt to craft a better bow. As you can see, some of these areas here are tier 3s and tier 2s and tier 6s. Um, so what we're going to do is try and make a similar bow. But of course, with higher tier modifiers. I'll just quickly, briefly go over the steps. I'm going to try and perfect fossil it to get better quality. I'm going to enhance it. And from there, we're going to spam uh, deafening essences of fear to hit tier 1 lightning and an open prefix. Uh, from there, we're going to prefixes cannot be changed and hit an ashling. And hope we can hit a do an ashling tier 4 and hope it's a veiled prefix. And when we unveil it, it'll always be attacks with this weapon penetrate elemental resistances. And then from there, it'll either be, I think it'll be rerolling crit with harvest until we get a decent uh, crit modifier, crit multi. Again, prefixes cannot be changed. Reforge crit, prefix cannot be changed. That's, it could brick the it could brick the item by filling up all the slots, but that's probably the, the cheaper way more expensive ways add and remove and kind of yeah this is the steps we'd like to take and then of course six link after that and then white get the white sockets going after that it's a bit of a work in progress um so yeah let's just see how it turns out okay we got a bit of quality over here not too much hopefully we can hit somewhere 29 that's basically good enough <laughs> um, because the enhancement uh, I need to go probably find where would I what would it be under I think it's enhancement let me just confirm yeah weapon enhancement um, ideally we probably would want attack speed per 8% um, that's pretty good. I don't know if the elemental damage really plays an effect, but you see it's 8 quality, 8, 16, 24. It doesn't really matter if you get 30 quality. Unless it was something like the 4% or something of that effect. We could maybe consider the crit strike chance. I mean, that's 3%. We're here. Yeah, it's a 5% it's a crit. Ah, I'm not really sure. I might go for the crit. 29% really good for now. I'm going to spend a lot more just trying to hit that 30 but ideally, when you're doing a end game, you'll probably want to hit the 30. Or, because we're going to be running a Syndicate, we could... A quick crash course. A very quick crash course. When I'm there's Hello, better Hello. guides. There's better guides out there. History oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, my goodness, Elva wants... To your hard work. She wants attention there. Right, so quick crash course on Syndicate. We need to think of the big boss as a plus one to all rank. And we need to have a tier 3 rank guy. This guy is 2 stars, so he's 2 rank. We need to have 3 stars. So Ashley needs to be in research here. Ideally, we'd want Verucci there as well, so we can get attempt to do white sockets. And then, while we're running uh, Syndicate, we could either we put Hillock into, I think, Transportation. Tier 3. Make sure he's rank 3. If he's under Transportation. We do the final boss. It can give us 30 weapon quality. The most important one, we need to find Ashling and get her into research. That's basically the quick gist of it. All right, we'll continue with the craft and see how far we go. Um, I'll check you guys when we that next step in the process. Let's go. Wow, the lightning rays was amazing on that one. Tier two, I mean, it's a one and three. Oh, it's going to be sad. Okay, we hit the one and three. Now we need to think. Oof. Do we take it? Do we take it? It's an upgrade. <laughs> It's uh, barely an upgrade. I think what what I might do is I might save this, meaning I'll put it one side and I'll go get another bow and start prepping on that. I think we do that. 
that is a good call. Please make this a, uh, because you, you, you don't want to go past it, but of course we still have essences to still use and currencies to still use. Probably stopping here. Prefixes cannot be changed. Tier 4 Ashling when you farmed one. And hope you hit a prefix and unveil to get uh, elemental pen, Ellie pen. And then use prefixes cannot be changed. Um, Reroll crits or add and remove crits until you hit a decent crit. That's basically done. And six socket, you know, white socket, that type of shenanigans. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty decent. I mean, to hit that and I'll get about, we missed quite a few already. But, and we may be lucky in some areas. But yeah, let's keep this. And I'll go get another bow. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. With a slightly better bow, actually. Worse quality, but slightly better. <laughs> so, and slightly cheaper, actually. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. Continue the process. Continue the process of trying to hit tier 1 lightning. Um, this is pretty much deterministic after that point. Of getting... Your minion damage with lightning damage. Wow, that lightning roll was minimum. Minimum. Oh, look at that lightning roll. It's amazing. Ooh, tier one. Now we have... Two modifiers we do want, two modifiers, well, one modifier we don't want. So technically like a one in four, but it's quite easy to break it. I don't even want to look messed up. Yep, bye. Goodbye, my lover. Yep, what can I say? You know why? I didn't keep it in the slot. The lucky slot was the problemo. So we'll see if we can get uh, tier 1 lightning again, and we'll leave it in the slot. That lightning roll, minimum. Oh, well, click past a very nice cold one. Oh, we should be hasty, let's just take our time, relax, breathe. Tier 2, come on. Oh. Just for the sake of it, if you got this, yeah, I would stop and hit the lightning rays. Oh, come on, man. Why could not not be on the tier one? <laughs> Do I go buy another one? <laughs> Do I go buy another one? No, nah, like, I mean, the chance of this selling, I mean, it's in a perfect state just to... The perfect state. Really isn't a good... Well, I shouldn't say perfect. A perfect state to continue the crafting. I should say. Um, I could just... Uh, could just craft... I could just multi-mod it. So tempted to roll past it. What attempt to? All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so prefixes are not full and we got a suffix. Woo! All right. That is awesome. Okay. So we just do prefixes cannot be changed. Okay. Wow. That's good. So we can do prefixes cannot be changed. Um, 
Scour, if you wanted to be safe. And then prefixes cannot be changed. Ashling. We go farm the Ashling. Ooh, that's hectic, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, this is fixed. This is fixable. Great. Great. I'm excited. Um, okay. We, there's definitely in, we, there's definitely ways to go about this. Um, so I'm going to have to go find an Ashling. Well, I don't know where, because I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is, yeah. I'm going to go find her, level up, put her in research. And we go from there. Uh, and then hopefully we can get Verici there as well. We get some white sockets. And yeah, we're well on the way to progress with the bow. I will slip it in when we find it and where we get it all going. Check you guys on the flip side. And this is how you do the crafting. Patience, take your time. Look for the right modifier. Don't click too quickly. Um, and then when you do find something that's really, really good that you would consider taking try and go get another base and craft on that base because we had that other base as a backup i was like okay i want to try and go for tier one and we have a little bit of more resources left so that's a big tip i have from my side is just take your time with it have enough resource have enough currency to craft at least one to maybe two of them as well as um have a backup a backup um here all right Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome in. We got our bow. We got the syndicate. We got Verici. Let's see if we can get Verici. Ooh. Ooh. That kind of works. We can use that. Two reds. Two, yeah, we can use that. Very, very nice. And where was the other one? Uh, where was it? Where was it? I think it was down here. Alright, Verici there for white sockets. Pretty good. Um, now we're going to be looking at the Syndicate Craft. We got prefixes cannot be changed. Um, tier 1 and Deafening Essences. It's 50-50. Let's go. We hit a prefix. Oh my goodness, we are super lucky. Okay. From here... You know what we go do? We go unveil. Woo! Oh my goodness. That was ridiculous. Hello. So unveil, as I said, 100% chance to be pen. There is no, there's no, you know, you can't block anything. There's nothing to block. But you want to take penetrate elemental resistances. Just like our other bow. All right, now, if you hit a prefix, oh, so if the unveil was a suffix, right? If the unveil was a suffix, you would be unveil it, then you would do prefixes cannot be changed, scour, redo the etchling. Uh, you would, sorry, prefixes cannot be ch changed, scour, prefixes cannot be changed, ashling. If it hits a suffix, prefixes cannot be changed, scour, then prefixes ca again cannot be changed until it hits a prefix. Uh, it's a bit of a lengthy process, but yeah. Um, and ideally, like I said, you want to get Verici and Ashling under research. At tier 3, and then when you go fight the boss, they all just rank up. Alright, that's just a quick snippet. And on to the next step, guys. Let's get this bow finished. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. So we have our Sacred Life Force. Uh, A.K.A. Sacred Blossom. Uh, Primal Crystal Life Force. And we got our bow. I remember what I had this was like 50 chaos or something. Now it's like four divine. Freaking ridiculous. But anyway. We're going to do the expensive route. We're doing adding and removing. I'll show you now. You know what? I'm not going to put the bow there. Just now I misclick it. So I'll quick show you quickly the crafting method. What I mean by expensive. And what I mean by... Oh. What's happening? Can you not freeze on me? Give me a second. What stuff takes to process. So right, this is what we currently have. So what you can do the cheap way is reforge crit and you slap it on there. 
Great. Right? If you mess up, prefixes cannot be changed. Reforge. Mess up, prefixes cannot be changed. Reforge. Right? That's the very cheap way. What could end up happening... I'll see if I can find an example. It's not often, but it can. The luck is not with you. This could happen. Now, what do you do? What do you do in this situation is... You cross your thumbs. Right? Put your head between your leg. And you kiss your ass. Maybe goodbye. Because this is what could happen. Now you start over. <laughs> so, it could be very, very dangerous, you know? So, I would probably... The, my first bow, the first bow I made, I went the, I just went the, the cheap ride. Because I was like, ah, oh well, if it bricks, it is what it is. It's just tier 3. But with this bow, I'm going to go the more expensive route and add and remove. It's only going to ever add one at a time. And whatever we get, whatever we get. It is what it is. I'll just show you, this is the safest, safe, safe way to do it. Is with add and remove crit. Costs a lot now. Um, but if you're cheapy and you just want to get into the build. And you've got like tier 3 modifiers. Like I said I'll show you on my bow. Uh, what I did. Like my current bow. Lowish roll. Tier 2. And then we had tier 3 lightning. We hit the Ashling fortune. I think I even used screaming essences. No shrieking exorcism. I think shrieking. Essences of fear. Hit the tier 3. Was able to annul and then unveil Ashling. I said, screw it. We'll just do reforge. And there we go. That's the bow we kind of got. So in that situation, cool. But for this bow, we're not going to do that. We're going to definitely go the more expensive route, which is going to be the crit, the add and remove crit. And just to give a heads up, whatever we get is what we get. I can always fix it later. Let's go. Please be good. Please be good. What did we get? Tier 5. Oh my... You know what? It's slightly better. It's fine. It is fine. It is fine. Don't worry about it. What so I this is the bow. Not before. So we'll put it on here. Attack speed. I'm kind of liking the attack speed. And that's kind of the bow. We of course have to six link it still. The DPS is probably looking... Remember it's not divined or anything like that. Um, it's looking pretty good. I don't think it's not worth that amount. I think this is very misleading. Um, probably... Probably a good couple of div. A good couple of div, I would say. Um, if you have to pick it up on the market. Um, there's probably similar ones here. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, similar ones for around... Well, they have tier 2, not tier 1. So... Look, I'm not exper super experienced in, in, in all the pricing and marketing and this and that. But anywhere from 35 to 35 to 150 div. I mean, we could, like I said, we can fix that prefix. It's not like it's locked in completely. I mean, we could fix it. So the the price can definitely vary. We're not going to sell it, of course. We're going to use it. We might just sell that bow. And don't forget, we have that other bow as a backup. Remember, I hit. Uh, we hit a tier 2 on it, so we might use that backup bow and craft a bit of it when you get another Ashley and craft on that and maybe sell that as profit. So this is what happens if you have two bows as a backup. We, uh, so if you get a really good hit and you're not sure if you want to roll past it, buy another bow or another base if possible, sorry. Craft on that and then choose between the two. And you could be lucky in a situation where the crafting is the crafting god is with you and you could get a better roll. And you go with that roll in the second bow, you just craft whenever you have currency, whenever you have time, and you can sell that on for profit. So from here, again, we're just going to six link it, equip it, and we are pretty much done with the bow. Uh, again, that's about it. You saw the kind of the footage, just to go through it again. Essence, build tier one, get an open prefix. Prefixes cannot be changed. Ashling slam, always going to give you LM, early pain, and then you add and remove crit and then cra craft on attack speed um and yeah that's kind of where we at guys i hope you guys enjoyed the crafting step kind of step by step guide um i might do a description uh in the description i might just go step by step again uh for other people maybe it's just better for them and yeah i might just put a couple links in here and there for you for the equipment and the uh 
materials I used, and you could go from there, and maybe you could make your own bow. And yeah, feel free to ask any questions if you are lost or struggling, or maybe it's confusing in certain areas or terminologies. Um, but yeah, this bow is definitely fixable from this current state, and maybe you guys craft better bows than this. Very possible. I mean, and yeah, take care, guys. Enjoy the league. Take it easy. And as I say, all good and bad things must come to an end, so look after yourself. The world is pretty brutal out there, everybody. Take care. Eat well, sleep well, and be well. This is 47 Gaming. Signing out, guys. Cheers, cheers.